Hello and welcome back gamers. This is Hari here from Gaming Graph 3. I've covered all the six investigations on Abul Nakud in my previous videos. As only three investigations are required in order to proceed in the memory sequence, you can watch the required videos from the link provided in the below description or keep yourself plugged in until the end so the videos are shown in my playlist suggestions. This video is the last and final episode on Abul Nakud where Altair successfully assassinates Abul Nakud and in his last few words, he shares his side of the world to change the world and bring peace that puts Altair to a perplexed situation. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. And we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salahadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So I propose a toast then to you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. <laughs> Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget you. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. It's the sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. 
And so I say, enough! I pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see <laughs> from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad-Din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No. We are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al-Mualam then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes. 
We'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. That's the end of the story on Abul Nakud guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and if you like this video do click on the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell icon tap so you'll be notified on my next video of Assassin's Creed where Altair gains words of wisdom from the Grandmaster Al-Mualim on Abul Nakud's assassination.